just speaking of universities, another thing. So the degree, of, just to show where they're at in general, <laughs> the degree of magic is going to be offered at the University of Exeter. Yeah, I mean, guys, these are just a, this is just a business. Like at the end of the day, we need five hundred uh, fucking grand to get a degree in magic, <laughs> and it doesn't stop at magic. It's worse. Than I mean, magic. it makes your money disappear. It is fucking. <laughs> they're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first, <laughs> everyone put their tuition in this hat. <laughs> Poof. That's wires. your first lesson. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> was our buddy had a really good joke? Um, who was it in Toronto? Indian dude, Kunal. What? Aurora? No, he's not in Toronto. No, he's here. No, okay, no, it wasn't his joke. Is there a buddy of ours in They're all Toronto They're that all I forget? But he says that uh, the only he goes the uh, the only thing I'm doing a G hat on is my parents' dreams. <laughs> oh, uh, Faisal. 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 Faisal Bot. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Faisal Bot's great. He's a man. Shadow Faisal. That's who it was. Yeah. But um, the magic thing. Yeah, essentially, they yeah you're they're doing a um. They're doing a disappearing act on your chance of having a <laughs> successful career. Yeah. Chance of I making mean, your I, parents I, proud. I mean, at that point, you're just holding your we're gonna parents make, hostage. We're making your parents' pride disappear. That's so weird. You're like, what do you need a degree in magic? You just got to go f trick a bunch of people, and then you're like, I don't know. Like, magic, you just uh, sit at home being like, making the coins disappear and shit. But it's not that. So here, listen to what it is. It gets fucking wacky. The innovative MA in magic, MA in magic, the occult science has been following recent surge in magic, blah, 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 and witchcraft. Uh, and magic around the world so they're kind of tying into the world it, it gets deeper Emily Solve, female of course girls aren't even as good at magic yeah. a recent surgeon is not one girl in magic said. and the occult inside and outside of academia lies in the heart of the most urgent questions of our society decolonization oh, fuck off. <laughs> he didn't know it was going there <laughs> all right every <laughs> here's the best part Danny <laughs> the guy being like ready to decolonize our mind one guy's sitting there with his deck of cards <laughs> 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 am i in the right place here um some fat bitch shows up refunds or ah, some fat chick starts showing up <laughs> and telling you about decolonization you, you got your like squirt you got your flower that squirts on <laughs> that's clowning ryan <laughs> all right, sorry for all the magicians. You're holding your magic wand. <laughs> it's just like a bunch of nerdy dudes with like the hats on in the suit. <laughs> oh. no, we're gonna decolonize your mind. We're gonna decolonize that rabbit. See, we're gonna start with rabbits or two live the white man. <laughs> and you go. Yeah. Uh. That's by the way the decolonization talk. We're gonna make this white woman disappear, and we're not gonna let her come back. <laughs> That's what I was talking about with the lack of self-preservation that people have. Is when you're in America or Canada talking about decolonization and love it, and you go, "How do you think this plays out in a fucking perfect scenario here?" No, well, they get their way, obviously. It's no, like, but I'm saying, like, if you truly, no, you're right like, that, you go, yeah. you, then you're dead. I agree, yeah. You're like, you're literally, you, like, if this, if you run this speed run, this whole thing, you're like, you're dead. A lot of people don't. I, yeah, I agree with the self-preservation thing a bit, but I, I guess the other way, the, the problem is, I think you're, maybe where I'm disagreeing is I'm saying their self-preservation lies in their allegiance to what they yeah, consider well, they the right opinions with their friend group. For sure. So I, that's their yeah. self-preservation aspect. Know. And that's more just I'm, I'm talking their, biologically, inab their like, inability to take their opinions to their logical conclusions. Yeah, yeah. And they and there may be like, well, this would never happen in my lifetime, so it doesn't matter, like kind of thing. Like there could be like this could take so long, but you're like, imagine if we could snap a finger and I mean you see a lot of people online being like, I oh, then I would if I was to have to give my house and they come back and then I hear about hit the so button do it well, what's stopping yeah, you yeah what's stopping you now you don't like, have, it doesn't have to be official dude the fucking decolonization talk is like some of just the stupidest shit you're like <laughs> look you got colonized that's just where we're at it's like it's just like what's where we're at it's like we live in a i mean you're legitimately the girl that date uh, the guy that dated the girl seven times before and showing up at the house and you're like we're married <laughs> she's married bro yeah, yeah dude <laughs> let it go and then she goes, no, I was her first. It's over. And then there's some, you know, there's like some college kids outside of your house being like, this is Tim's pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're like, shit's over. You go, it's done. We're married. We're, not, we're not going back on this. <laughs> there's no redos on colonization. Like, it's over. Like, if anything, we're like, we've kind of stopped. So that's good. 
doesn't seem like we're, there's really much colonization happening further anymore. But like for the most part, you're like we're done with it. China is fucking trying his hand in a little bit of it. I think. I, mean, Ru- I guess Russia is like I don't know trying to take territory. But for the most part, it's done. We're done yeah. with this. So the the board the map's set. I don't think we're having new maps. The risk board is getting fucking turned <laughs> up right now, though, man. I, honestly, it reminds me of when Newman and Kramer were playing and they <laughs> took the board onto the street. That's it's th- yeah. there's it's risky and shaky in that right now. fucking scene. The Ukraine was weak. <laughs> <laughs> Ukraine was very weak. <laughs> Risk board's getting fucking shaken up right now, dude. <laughs> so decolonization, I'm loving the idea. I guess maybe I'm I, the one guy that took this course because he thought it was actual yeah, magic. I guess maybe Taiwan. That's the one thing. Maybe Taiwan will. Decolonization, the exploration of alternative epistemologies, feminism, anti-racism are at the core of this program. Ugh. You go, the one guy goes. When do we get our wands? <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me. Me <laughs> wand. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We have them here in uh, fucking Hitachi. You go, here you go. <laughs> he makes people. He makes people's <laughs> corners disappear with reparations. <laughs> Just, what am I meant to do with this Hitachi wand? To go, uh, if you jam it far enough up your ass, there's some sort of G spot sitting in there. Going, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, men don't normally sign up for this class, but <laughs> they call it your rectum with this one. <laughs> okay, first and foremost, decolonization is bad, but colonization is good when we decolonize your ass with dildos. <laughs> <laughs> With, we colonize your ass with Hamas branded male Sibians. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see all the fucking people who were like, all right, everybody. In like fl- waving ISIS flags. Is this seeing that shit? A lot of the pro Palestine rallies is like people are showing up. But there was one in Mississauga, and there was one in a few places where people are showing up with ISIS flags. Oh, I know. I said, and girls then it's, she goes, "You live in Mississauga. Stop yeah. this." <laughs> And then it is funny because it's very much similar to like the trucker rally where like, you know, totally. the, the one Nazi guy, it's their similar problem where they're uh-huh. like, like, get out of here. <laughs> the ISIS they're like, we're guys. doing a real thing. And the fucking ISIS guys <laughs> and like a brand new like F-150 show up. And you're like, get out of here. <laughs> you're fucking is over. <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> it's like, we'd get an ISIS flag anyways. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> 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 So it's decolonization, feminism. The course will be offered in the Institute of Arab and Islamic Studies, and it will allow people to re-examine the assumption that the West is a place of rationalism and science, while the rest of the world is a place of magic and superstition. Okay. I guess you could say anyone that's... All the ones that are super religious, you could... I mean, I guess it just depends on which one you believe and which one you don't believe, but... Well, we might find out which one the so right one is. So it's not what you think, though. It's not... Up. You, you come home and you go, my son's being a magician. Magician, it's like actually worse. He's, like, <laughs> he's coming home and he's going to give you a lecture on feminism. <laughs> the university said the course could prepare students for careers in teaching. <laughs> well, that's yeah, I am. definitely the only thing, job you're going to get. I don't know if there's more teaching someone a, else this bullshit. Yeah, I don't know if there's that's like literally there's no more red flag for any college course than teaching. They go, right hey, now. we're running a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> <laughs> you find five other students <laughs> like literally they go hey so this is a ponzi scheme the only thing you can do with this is just teach it to other people you go that's a ponzi scheme that's a literal ponzi scheme i guess pe- maybe a pyramid scheme or whatever we know. teach you feminism magician decolonizing and then, and then you, you find five other people and then the tuition falls up <laughs> <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme. The tuition funnels up to the top. <laughs> There's like so many courses like that, though. Like, how many <laughs> other like sociology bullshit? Where, you know, the only thing you can do here is just teach other people this. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right. We have a uh, <sighs> we have uh, we have a special guest today, Penn and Teller. <laughs> Samantha, uh, feminist author Samantha <laughs> Penn, <laughs> and bank teller, <laughs> <laughs> and bank teller, and I got Brenda bad news Smith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bank teller, Brenda Smith. I got bad news for you. Brenda ain't keeping quiet today. <laughs> You got a lot of opinions, Brenda. And you're gonna be hearing them all. <laughs> so, so Ben and Teller are coming today. Ben and Teller are on the stage right now. <laughs> Samantha Penn. <laughs> you might recognize her for we're working fourth wave feminism. <laughs> feminism in the air world. 
Uh, it's such a such a pyramid scheme. Oh, good lord! The the university said the course could prepare students for teaching, counseling, mentoring. Oh, there's a job. That's a job. You can be a mentor. Be a mentor. <laughs> Like an assistant teacher. <laughs> museum work. You can be a receptionist at the museum. Work in libraries. Tourism. Do you really need to be a... This is a bad... Have a university a bad degree course. to Work be in a, a library. Uh, no, I think to be like a librarian. Library, some of the top librarians is yeah, yeah, a real no, job. Librarian is a real job, but I was saying a receptionist at a museum. I don't think so. I don't think... That's like a retiree's job. You can be a tour guide, though. You could be like, this is the first ever wand that decolonized the, yeah, but you the could, mind. Of, this, is the, this is the actual wand that, de, that decolonized <laughs> the mind of Brenda Teller. <laughs> All right. The choice of modules includes dragons in Western literature and art, the legend of King Arthur, paleontology, Islamic thought, archaeology. Well, the bottom line is this is a it's bullshit. Yeah. 